let us discuss the bars of composite sections let us have suppose we have two bars two bars like this and they are supposed parallel to each other and these bars are joined are joined by a rigid horizontal uh, suppose road like this this is horizontal road this is one bar uh, name name this like one bar and this is another bar two bar and this is uh, connected by a rigid rigid road and a load is applied and a load p is applied externally on this bar these parallel bars so now it become a composite section composite means they are connected to each other in a parallel cross section so it becomes a composite sections right and our aim is to find out the change in length change in length of these bars and also the stress is developed in one and stress developed in two so how we will evaluate this type of problem right it is quite possible that this one bar is made of different material and this two bar is made of different materials right so how to evaluate the stresses and deflection in this bars one and two right so here two three points should is were are very important what are those points that as this bar will be deformed the deformation will be equal in this bar and in this bar because this is uh, deformed through a composite section through a, this rigid bar so the deformation will be same so like this that after deformation you will get this type of condition that the rods are deflected one and two bar is deflected and that this rigid bar rigid uh, rod is attained a new position like this right attain a new position and there is some deflection and there is some deflection in this bar that is delta L so you will see that the delta L is the deflection in one bar and same is the deflection in two bar and as the deflection is same deformation is same so strain strain in the bar strain is deformation per unit length suppose the length of this bar is L and also suppose the length of this bar is also L so strain will also same so deformation in the bar is same in these two bars is same strain is same but the load load P is the load applied and some of the load will be shared by 1 and some of the load will be shared by 2 so total load total load will be equal to load carried by 1 plus load carried by 2 so this is the summary of uh, bars of composite sections so first point is first point is deformation in each bar is equal second point strain which is deformation per unit length we already know deformation per unit length is also equal in each section of the bar right and third third is the load carried by 1 and load carried by 2 will be equal to some of the load carried by 2 bars will be equal to the total load so total external load is equal to the sum of loads carried by individual bars so these are the three important points regarding the composite sections so from here we can write that uh, delta L 
of 1 will be equal to delta L of 2, right? And we know our basic formula, basic formula of change in length. What is that formula? Uh, we are using this formula regularly that delta L is equal to PL upon AE. PL upon AE, this is our basic formula. So, P is different because load shared by 1 may be different and load shared by 2 may be different because both materials have different materials and different modulus of elasticity. So that's why we can write P1, L may be same, suppose L is also different, so L1 upon area, area may also be different or E1 that is equal to P2 L2 upon A2 E2. So this is one of the equation. Here what is given? What is given? L1 is given, L2 is given, area A1 is given. Suppose the area of cross section of this bar is A1, area of cross section of this bar is A2, E1 is the modulus of elasticity of this material, E2 is the modulus of elasticity of this material. So everything can be different. So L1, L2, A1, A2, E1, E2, these are given. What is unknown? P1 and P2, right? So for that two equations are required. So this is one of the equation to solve P1 and P2. And another is that total external load is equal to the sum of the loads carried by individual bars. So P1 plus P2 should be equal to P. So second equation is P1 plus P2 should be equal to P. This is another equation. So use the, these two equations and then you will get P1 and P2, right? So from here, from here, suppose in this particular case, L1 is equal to L2 is equal to L. So what we can see here is L1, L2 is L. So P1 upon A1 is stress. So P1, L1 will be cancelled out, L will be cancelled out. So P1 upon A1, P1 upon A1, E1 will be equal to P2 upon A2 E2. So P1 upon A1 is stress and P2 upon A2 is stress of point um, bar 2 upon E2. So this is another equation obtained from equation 1, right? So this is the another equation. This uh, whenever required, this can also be used, right? So from these equations, we can find out P1 and P2 and once the P1 and P2 is obtained, you can easily find out sigma1 and sigma2 because what is sigma1? That is P1 upon A1. So it can be obtained and sigma2 is P2 upon A2. So by this, we can find out stress in bar 1 and stress in bar 2 and once the stresses and strains are obtained, we can find out the deformation total deformation of this composite section.